Boy, just be yourself. If people don't like you, if you're being yourself, fuck them! Yeah. Welcome back to the Noise Podcast. If you haven't yet, follow us on the Big Three Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the Noise Podcast. And of course, follow everything Beat Network at BeatNetworkOnline.com. I am Big Los. Jay Alonzo, what's happening? Shout out to Hollywood Kev. He will be back next week. Hey, Clap it up shout out that. to my guy. We appreciate you guys for, you know, keeping them in your thoughts, well wishes, and all that other great stuff. Uh, but he shall be back next week. The grimy one returns. Uh, the heavy stepper, if you will. What's up? Listen, peeling the curtain back. I don't know what the fuck took me so long to get the intro for this together. But yeah, it, it was stressful. You, you were definitely uh, scatting for a little bit. It was, I was out here, skip it a buck. <laughs> I'm like, a right. scat man. So, so, so we're scatting for the intro. Okay. It's gonna I'll play along. Theme. I think like eventually we're going to do like some form of old-timey, traditional type <laughs> Welcome to the noise. But what's crazy is, what's crazy is, like, as we talk about scatting and whatnot, even though this has nothing to do with the other, but as I'm on my phone right now as we record the show, Silk Sonic just announced their new single called Smoking Out the Window. And that just sounds like some fire shit. Are they scatting on it? That's my I question. Know, but <laughs> you know, I wouldn't put it. Would you put it past Bruno to uh, scat? scat? No, not at all. Nor. nor and it's a park for that better. I would say uh, Scadden could be the next. We one. might hear some Scad. You hear here first on the Noise Podcast. But damn, really a new single. So th- you know what? Here's my concern. Here's my concern. This week, by the way, I'm gonna give my honest concern. I'm, I'm excited for it. Do not get me wrong. I'm absolutely excited for it. But here's my concern. They didn't let Skate breathe the same way they let Leave the Door Open breathe. No, nah, they definitely did not. And so the crazy does that mean was- Skate did not catch? I think that's the reason why we have a third single because the album drops technically next Friday. No, uh, no. I was about to say, you are you willing to go on record for that? You going down that hill? No, it's actually November 12th. So that's the Friday after, Friday after next. Oh, okay. No, it's, that's, uh, yeah, but I guess Friday after next. But yeah, the album drops November 12th. Uh, you're right. Any Anybody who, who saw the, the behemoth of a song that Leave the Door Open was and trust me, you put that shit on now, and it's still a vibe. Oh, yeah. But while I do love Skate, I thought Skate was a bop. As did I. It did not have stand powers. No, it didn't. It didn't stay long. It, it made, but, it made but, one plate. But it felt like a song. It legit felt like a song that would be better on an album cut. This is why we say, well, if you're going to give us the album, just give us the album. No, it was for sure an album cut. And to be honest with you, you know what would have helped Skate? If some kind of movie or centered around skating came out. And then I think it dropped kind of late. Like it dropped late summer. Th- their best bet was if they go, if they, if they were gonna put out Leave the Door Open by what was that, February? Mm-hmm. Um we'll go February. You okay. should have dropped skate like May. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To, to let it really eat up the summer. You had two records eating shit up. You know what I'm saying? But while I I typically if, if Skate comes on, I'm I'm vibing to it for sure. It's not something I'd run back to as often as Leave the Door Open, but in context of the album, I can't wait to hear what the album sounds like totals. I wouldn't skip it. Like when I, I, like, when I do the run through of the album, like I'll definitely give Skate a run. Um, it's still a bob. Skate to me, baby. But it's but, skate. but like I said, I feel like it's still going to be a beautiful project. I'm just worried about what they're going to choose as a single because they chose their biggest hit. And they chose a record that should have been an album cut. So are they are they going to do something to kind of control the billboard for a little bit? Because think about it. What would be the most brilliant thing to do is drop another record that it's not going to touch, leave the door open, but drop another record that you know can at least start cycling down. Well, they put out they put out a teaser to the song. Oh, so you didn't say that? Yeah. So let me see if I can see it. Don't don't play it too. Don't don't put it too close to the mic. <laughs> don't leave that door open. Ah, uh, the fumble. Nah, it, it, huh. well, anyway, <laughs> it's called it's called smoking <laughs> out the window. I thought you said it's called leave the door closed. Now. <laughs> leave the door closed. Close the door again. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> the ACO. How was your week, brother? Uh, you know, my week was a week. You know, life be lifing, and I guess the weeks kind of do their own thing too. I'm not gonna create the weeks be weekend because then that don't make enough sense. But um, 
I guess how was how was your week, sir? I can't even lie to you, man. Uh, it's it's been a uh a busy work week, to, to say the least. Um, we had some some action this weekend with our twenty for twenty, for 20 which we'll get to. And um, no, nah, bro. I, I mean, it's November first. Um, you know, it is thy birthday month, as, as it is. So you know, considering how uh my birthday last year went, you know, for those you know, with my uh. Uh, uh, surgery now approaching. Actually, it'll be, it'll, it'll be a year tomorrow since, since I had the uh, surgery done, and uh, it's been it's been cool. So I'm I'm looking forward to really enjoying my 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 thirty thirty fourth year on this planet. Now people are gonna think that you're lying because you stumbled on the thirty fourth. Like no, nah, this nigga thirty six. No, even no, nah, uh, bro. I'm like twenty five in this piece, yo. So I feel I feel, I feel all right. Yeah, I've never gotten that. You lie. Never. Never. I'm telling you, I look old. We just found out at the championship that Pierce is older than me. Well, at least which, I, I. Which I found was. I thought we were the same age. He was like, nope, that's just me aging. <laughs> so no one has hit me with 25 in a while. But yeah, man, you uh, you know you know what's funny about your birthday? What's that? It is so late in November. So you got to watch a lot of November babies go by. And then, and then, and then you know, this year, because typically my, my birthday would be like, Day before, day after. No, I'm sorry. Two days before, two days after, or day of Thanksgiving. This year is literally the day before Thanksgiving. Yeah, it is. Which is wild. I think I just saw your birthday in a meme talking about. <laughs> oh, that no, no, it was a meme that said, "Hey, just letting y'all know, trees go up November 24th." <laughs> I was all like, "Oh, it's Jay's birthday." <laughs> I mean, like, so apparently, be the, cool, the Christmas but... tree time happens November 24th. <laughs> all right, so I, I think I found it real quick. Let's see if I can play some real quick. No, that's an ass. So let's keep talking. <laughs> and some shit is exploding. So yeah, it's, it's called the haunting. Right? Nobody really cares about that. But but no, man, I'm I'm I am looking forward to um bringing in the uh, the next year of of life, man. It's gonna be dope. Here we go. Yeah, don't hold it too close. Like I said, we don't want to know. Oh, you know what they did? They unless it's already a block on Instagram itself. Literally, you cannot listen to the the to the song because it's the mute. It's, it's it's on mute. You cannot mute it. Ah, okay. So that was a lot of build up. So maybe, so maybe they don't want you to. They just want they just want us to see them grooving in the car. Like like, there's definitely a video out and there's a song a coming. And by the way, we've been working. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Well, I mean that's cool. Um, I'm trying to think where. Where do you want to start? Let's. I, I guess we can start with twenty for twenty, so that way we can get the announcements out of the way as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, we did P Diddy, Papa Diddy Pop, Papa Puff Diddy Daddy Pop. Uh, versus Jermaine Brother Dupree. Love. It was the mogul run. It was whatever these gentlemen touched was a go to play, and we went twenty songs. You know, things went to work and things happened, including YouTube being. Bitch ass niggas for Yo, a moment, just for a moment. Yeah, and and <laughs> and and was that the first time we got like really like kicked off, kicked off like for YouTube? Yes. However, I and also understand because we played a lot of shit. We played, we played. Yeah, we probably had no business playing. We played the joints. No, nah, I mean you got to play those because for especially for that kind of battle. But we played some shit, right? So, um, but it is gonna take some finessing to get the video back, but. You know, everybody has a moment of bitch ass nigga. That you know what? That probably was our moment of bitch ass nigga them to YouTube. Like, y'all bitch ass niggas. I was letting y'all run and this is what you gonna do. Oh, it's all billboard. <laughs> we playing nothing but billboard records. Nah, I gotta take that from you. So I get it. Eye for an eye. Um, let me first start off by saying um thank you for that grudge match. Uh I I basically proven to people that uh the champion can be beaten. And uh, okay, uh, hold on, hold okay. On. I'm, I'm not done. I'm not, I'm not done. You played a hell of a fight, absolutely, but you can't be beaten. Okay. With that being said, you want to <laughs> go into it? Yeah, I saw the votes, <laughs> and <laughs> you had Puff. So I went into it. No, what, what Jay doesn't want to talk about is I went into it knowing I was going to lose at no point. Did I ever say I was going to win this? At no point does anyone think Diddy can beat JD. <laughs> However, I said I'm not going to make it easy. And I didn't. Uh, 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 yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I, I could say that. I, I could definitely say that. Even though you missed some key shit, like there was no DeBrat played. Okay. 
There was no. Did you see my list? My list was insane. No, I didn't see your list. No, I'm talking about. Did you see the, uh, the from the from the show? You played in the show. I played your list in the show. No, you. We played against each other in the yeah, show. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like, like with that being said, because I go out, we were going against each other. I would have heard some depressed, some functify. You know what I'm saying? Some gonna give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Like even a few JD jokes you could have kind of threw out there, kind of just test the waters at least. No crisscross jump. Of course not. That at that point I'm playing for nostalgia. This ain't the the the, the 20 year anniversary of so so death. This is 20 for 20. <laughs> and that's what we tell me. Tell me right now in your honest opinion. What song was out of, of what you played? What was jump jump beating? And what was funkified beating? In your in your honest opinion. So go ahead, lots. <laughs> what was jump? What was funkified well, beating? I, I can't really try to, to defend jump, but at least with funkified, let's say. People would have people would, would have had had a hard time voting if you put funk if I, if I when I played Black Rob Woe and you respond with Funkify. Woe would have still fucking won. What are you talking that's, about? That's, that's not entirely true. That's very true. And I, I said that because now nah, I said that because Woe is arguably on, the greatest bad boy record ever made. I said that There's because not much beating Woe. Especially I, from Jermaine Dupri's catalog. Respect to JD. I say that because knowing how you play, and you're like a, a masterful, you manipulate a lot of shit as far as yo, your choice of plays. So that's why when, when I want to start with fit with uh, Love Like This as the opener, I like I love getting your reaction to it because I, I know you was like, huh, oh, okay. But overall, though, I just thought the shit was it, was it was fucking dope, and uh, we haven't done one in a while since we started the season, so that was good. Plus, everybody want to see me you go out in championship. I didn't get that luxury, <laughs> so here we are. I didn't get a chance to do that. You obviously did, but here we are. Nah, man. Um, as far as the opening, like, yeah, it was it was surprising, but at the same time, it was also because there were some responses. I'm like, no, nah, you should have used that for a step on the neck. Like, I wouldn't have used that. To to be you know it, anyway, it was definitely fun. We played we played the hits. We played some shit, and uh, yeah, I feel like I, I held it down for JD, and um, everybody had nostalgic a nostalgic fun. So that's pretty much definitely all I care more about. More nostalgic fun, more never. But um, I does put my record now at four and one. So it is my first defeat. I was you know it's funny. I was talking to Sarita. She was like, "Why do grudge matches count?" I was like, because a regular season game counts. <laughs> yeah, a regular season game would definitely count. Everybody going to if a tournament pretty up, soon. If you're putting up points like that, uh, yeah, a regular season game definitely counts for sure. I mean, but yeah, I mean, listen, man. Um, I, I don't know where, where I am with my record this this season, but. Three and two. Now I'm three and two. Uh, listen, I'm the best big man of this motherfucker. I know all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but uh, but definitely dope. Uh, I, I just. This 2020 shit is just so much fucking fun to do, man. But anyway, uh, so we're announcing something tonight. Oh, yeah. So so now, do they know the shit? Yeah, the girls know. Oh, so I'm hearing this for the first time. Right. Oh, so I just you- realized because normally, like, if it's somebody else, I, I show everybody before right, right, right. I tell them, and it's just it's petty suspense on my part. <laughs> I right, know right. The, rest, the rest of the league know what you're about to play. You just don't know what you play. You're alone. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So so so, so 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 we're setting up who was going, what yeah. day, and the categories. Correct. So this Saturday, six p.m. This Saturday is what the that would be the se- six, seven? six. So this Saturday, November sixth, it is going to be Rach the Gym versus Sarita. It's going to be the first round of the new championship tournament. It's going to be a much shorter tournament this time because we're trying to get straight to the shits. But, uh, yeah, there are four categories. Their free-for-all will feature producer, DJ Toomp. Hey, hey, hey. Are you familiar with DJ Toomp, Jay? Yes, I am. Okay. Do not name any records. We are not giving away any opportunity to, uh, to get one over. The rapper finally making an appearance, Nas. We finally get some Nas in this joint? Finally about to get a Nas round. And I feel like between Rita and Rach, the pro-blackness is there. Hopefully they don't play anything from the nigger album. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, no, you, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> you it's too to, much. You're about to name some shit you enjoy. <laughs> no, but, no, but, 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 yeah, you know, continue. No, that's all good. For, uh, for the singer, 
You get Omarion, which also includes B2K. So producer is DJ Toomp. DJ Toomp. Rapper is Nas. Nas. Singer is Omarion, including B2K. Correct, because he's in B2K. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, then the wild card, the return of the Zodiac Battles. They are getting Scorpios as singers, rappers, pretty much whoever the fuck they want to play. All oh. Scorpio artists. Make some noise for that. Uh, Sarita is actually on FaceTime with me right now. I'm so, sure she's been studying. What up, Rita? What up, Rita? We, we know your battles now. You you are currently on the noise, sounding very you're, un- you're, overwhelmed. You're currently <laughs> you're, you're literally on the podcast right now. So quick tag, quick tag. Quick tag. I expect great performance out of y'all, but I'll call you back though. No, it's not. You got you got a plenty of a, a, a nice bat to get into. But. Some shit in there. All right, love, peace. But yeah, so that's going to be the next 20 for 20 this Saturday, November 6th. DJ Toom, Nas, Omarion, and Scorpio season. Funny enough, oh shit, this is Scorpio season. Isn't yeah, this, it? Is, this is Scorpio season. Uh, Corey birthday, uh, King Corey birthday's next Monday, I want to say. So the fucking wheel, my brother. <laughs> it's, it's, it's creepy out here. Yeah, 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 yeah. So another thing, I I don't know enough about Zodiacs. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. So when people say you're such a Libra, I'll be like, do I be, do I laugh or I'll be like, hey, fuck you? Like, do I? How do I know? I I I, I don't necessarily know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Like, I, you got to explain to me, like, well, what what makes me this this kind of person? Talk to me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this segment. That was literally the longest intro ever but anyway let's go ahead and get into the segment let's get into uh this or that th- this or that we need, like, you can give a uh, oh i, I, I need to we'll, i, I feel we'll like do that in unison you know what i mean i feel like if we get the actual song we won't run into any issues i don't know if anyone's claiming that you know that that necessary um bag anymore i'm pretty sure someone is still getting paid for it, but i'm pretty sure the, the rights to that got to be pretty open <laughs> as far as that song yeah black sheep yeah. When was the last time you heard Black Sheep? On what's, what's that station I heard? That's that plays to old school hip hop. Uh, yeah, yeah, they ain't playing on eight eight point one. Nah, hey, nah, nah. This is like like old school. It's like, either old or it's pretty recent. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna line see V one hundred three, but I'm sure I'm wrong. So yeah, so there you go. All right, so yep. that, he hasn't heard Black Sheep either. Anyway. Um, I myself put unless it on. you physically went to play Black Sheep or it gets played here. So we'll find out. We'll find out that information. Until then, you're going to get our horrible rap skills. Uh, so, well, actually, no, I'm kind of nice in, in real life, but either way. So, this or that, Jay. I'll start off with something super light. Would you rather lose your sense of smell or lose your sense of taste? Like, for good. This ain't no... Some shit just gonna eventually come back on some COVID elimination. No, no, no. This is raps. Thirty four this November. Never smell or never taste for the rest of your life. Never smell or never taste for the rest of my life. That's a wow. You gotta think about it because it's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna get rid of my smell, but then it's gonna be like little shit that you always want to know. This smells great. Like, does it? What does that smell like? <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, I mean, you know, smelling something really only kind of benefits you when it's you're smelling food being cooked, you're the smell of some good weed. You know, it's, certain smells just kind of benefit you of having a why well, I, I need to have a good smelling mechanism so I can really get this going. Now you mean a nose? Yeah. <laughs> smelling like a mechanism. Nose. But if That's you the name of the episode, now but, smelling mechanism. <laughs> But if you, how often have you smelled somebody's cooking, and then you tasted it, and it did not taste the way it smelled? So you're gonna go into that tasting blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the oh that was on your face just now. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I would say how oh, many times have you seen food? And they're like, that's probably about to slap. And they're like. 
ah, presentation is everything. Like, how how often have you well, been that, there before? Yeah, cause, cause that's when presentation really comes comes in like full throttle. But <laughs> you know, you, you you've smelled somebody's food and it don't smell all that great. No, question. It smells great, but the the, the taste lets you down. I'm about to say, like, I've never been prompted to eat someone's food that doesn't but, smell good. Unless they're cooking something that intentionally is supposed to, like something with some kind of cheese. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, this ain't supposed, but then again, even some cheese should be smelling good. So I don't know. I've never really been prompted to, to let me go ahead and eat this. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. Nah, 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 I got shit anyway. It's all Man. good. I mean, when I get home. Anyway, you uh, you can lose your sense of I smell. Think, I, I may have to go with the sense of smell. Okay. Okay, why is yeah, that? Because I, I, I can still taste, and essentially, your taste enhances when you not a sense of smell. This is true. So I would kind of go with sense of smell. Yeah, I'm gonna go with sense of smell as well. I'm just gonna have to just trust people around me. Like, hey, how does smell? You know what I'm saying? Because think about how petty niggas could be. Like you put on some cologne. Like he just was this brute. <laughs> yeah, that's how. <laughs> that's, that's, like, like, that's not like putting on some brute, and nobody told you, hey, bro, that's. That's too much brute. My like, shit. You smell like rubbing alcohol and licorice. And that's, niggas that's like, no, you, smell, brute. you smell good. You smell straight. My nigga like, man, we outside then. Let's do it. You know, and then you get outside and it's bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? But no, I, I'd still rather lose my sense of smell and just trust those around me to not hit me with a, with a rib. Uh, go ahead, Jay. What is yours? Mine is going to be um, <clears throat> pretty simple. I would say, would you rather have average sex Mm-hmm. Every day for the rest of your life, or great sex once a year for the rest of your life. Like, and there's no other sex outside of the one time a year out yeah. of the 365? Yeah. And I'm in a relationship? I guess, or are you flipping and dipping? I'm going to take the average because um, that one time, like, I'm just sitting around, I can't wait for July 16th. <laughs> can't wait. It's around the corner. It's February. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's hey, we'll smack cheeks, baby. Like, Let's this, go. This nigga been thinking about this for months, bro. It's sex day. Sex day. <laughs> like, well, you be surprised how I many people will say, you know what? I'll, I'll take the one to the year. I'm, like, I'm sure a lot of women will. I'm, I'm sure a lot of women will take that. Absolutely. But I'm I'm good. I'm a, I guess. I, I, I'll take the average because, oh, because the average is like, are you, you know what? All right. I mean, it's not like I'm, 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 I'm going to bed like, not empty, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or not fulfilling. If you will. sitting there like, all right, well, I came. You? <laughs> no. All right, well, we get it tomorrow. Well, that's, that's part of the rule. <laughs> Good night. We, we we average every day, so I'm pretty sure women will take the one time a year. Um, what is your answer, sir? I'm going with uh, good old average Joe. You did say that. I'm sorry. Yeah, only because we can we we can try to try different things. Nah, it's got to be average. Average, so just missionary and good night. Yeah, I'll go for the average. For sure. Because at least I can just... So yeah. you're, not, you're not prepping for sex day? <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's, if it's average every day, there's no need to prep for sex day. Because every day is <laughs> sex day. You know what I'm saying? But you're not prepping for like the Christmas of sex, like it's the phenomenal sex day. Like shit just... <laughs> All right. Uh, next one. This one is a... Uh, this was a little dark, but it's not that dark. Okay. Would you rather be a celebrity contestant on Fear Factor or be a celebrity contestant on a Japanese game show? I don't even need to name one. You know, all of them shits is left field. So which one would you rather be? <sighs> Here's the thing. The Japanese game. Okay. Mind you, they be, you, you may fucker have to eat a roach on that motherfucker anyway on the same day you took a pie to the face. And you also got slapped with like one of them big ass hands. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, I I feel like the the China the Japanese show is more on some like I'm liable to fuck somebody up. So I can just tell you that at least with Fear Factor, I know I'm going through some some wild shit. Like, all right, let me just let me just land this tub full of rats and roaches and do whatever. Yo, do you see the rate of speed they let the motherfuckers out? It be three. Two, one. This empty tank you were just in is now filled with rats. Oh, shit. And, and it's almost like they'll, they, they throw them on you and they themselves will run back like, fuck that. Like, fuck nah, bro, that. I've been holding that shit all day. That shit felt weird, bro. So which one are you going with? I'm going to go with, um, man, put me on Fair Factor, man. You want to say Fair Factor? 
Yeah. I'm saying that Japanese game show. I'm just going to have to hope it today that we don't get filled up with anything. And, and if you don't? And if we, if I get filled up that day, I'm like, all right, well, hmm. This this would have been only one of the fucked up things happening on Fear Factor. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm afraid of a bunch of shit. <laughs> I found out today. And now here I am in a tank full of this thing I'm afraid of. <laughs> would you, okay, so just to, to pick back off that, Squid Games. Would you rather do a Squid Games for the guaranteed two M's and the only games you have to pass is <laughs> red light, green light, and, and, old, and the, the robot is looking and she's looking with the quickness. Uh, or you know, you have to pass the red light, green light, and the cookie joint. So am I saying either or versus versus the Japanese uh, game show? I'm still taking the Japanese. What? Because there's death involved. That's my point. <laughs> if I don't stay still, <laughs> that's, that's that. And you know what? A nigga stumble putting on his socks sometimes. So it's like, <clears throat> oh shit! That's the last. Well, but that's it, the last it, mistake running, I ever make in my life. Even if you're running and you realize that all right, I need to come to a to a stop, and what is like a screeching halt, and the actual little tap tap. That you just didn't mean to do. <laughs> that you didn't even mean to do. Especially this day, because it's life or death. Didn't even mean to do that. You can't. What you gonna tell the robot? Wait, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sure. Headshot. <laughs> death. Hmm. No. Nah, fuck that. Give me your own Japanese game show and we out you. Got it. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not doing Fear Factor. Um, real quick before we get into the show, though, I, I did kind of go on a um, binge watch of All Dev Digital. And Mm -hmm. I realized there are a bunch of dad jokes that I missed. And I saw two of them that really made me like have a little internal chuckle. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm corny for this or was this like just a good (laughs) moment. So this is all credit to all Dev Digital. I just kind of wanted to see how they would work on you. Um, What happens when someone tells you a joke while you're on the toilet? (laughs) I typically would laugh Likely, but what's but what's it called? I don't know. Shits and giggles. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Shits and giggles. You get it? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you get it. Uh, <laughs> this I know I feel like super corny because this one really got me. What do rappers use to clean up their mess? What little baby wipes? Wait, what? Little baby wipes. <laughs> Little baby wipes. <laughs> that's corny as fuck, bro. Right. <laughs> Super stupid. And that's why I'm like, I'm so ashamed of myself for feeling like that was just the greatest thing ever. You, you giggle like a, a child just now. Bro, it's just, you got to see the delivery of it. it. The whole setup of it was just phenomenal. Little baby wipes. I was like, good one. <laughs> Little baby wipes. <laughs> you got me. But anyway. Getting into the show. This ain't even a part of the show, but I actually just saw this shit on IG around the same time you saw uh, that there's a new Silk Sonic joint coming out. Did you see that the, the Disneyland in Shanghai, China had to shut down? 30, 000, and they had to kick out 30,000 people. 30,000 people because one nigga tested positive for COVID. No shit. One nigga tested positive for COVID. 30,000 people. 33,000 of things would like the final number of it was 33 fucking thousand people had to leave because one nigga test positive for COVID. Imagine, imagine being that one nigga walking out with COVID. My bad, y'all. <laughs> Why'd you even say anything, my nigga? You could have just left. Hey, <laughs> hey Daryl, you fucked up, bro. <laughs> Fan went off to security. Excuse me, security officer. I have COVID. <laughs> Dog, this is over. Shut everything down. <laughs> get, get them off the ride. Y'all got to go. Shut it all to burn the place at this point. And not even that. 33,000 people had to take COVID tests after that. Mandated. Shit! Mandated. And I assume that the... Uh, That's how they knew only one nigga had it. 33,000 people had to take COVID tests. And they had to report the shit back. That's a bad day for if you were there because I don't feel like going to deal with taking a fucking COVID test and how long that shit take if it's a busy day. <laughs> and you're... You're the person that had to count all of these. Like, are all these ones are the Shanghai Disneyland? Yeah. <sighs> one, no. No, no, pal. No, pal. Now, I, I told you about the one time that uh, in uh, in Cali to where you, you go to this bar and you put your email address, phone number, and all that. Mm-hmm. And then you have to like kind of circle where you sat in the bar. So just in case 
COVID did hit the spot, they knew where you was at the time. <laughs> Ew, COVID. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like, oh yeah, you were there, but you weren't close enough to contract it. But if you was like, you sat right next to the motherfucker, probably she'll contest it. Maybe. Maybe. I hate when they be doing that shit at work, like, because <laughs> they'll really sit there and then walk, like, the, the allotted amount of feet. And if they find out they want for short, can you come with me? And they let you know the, somebody next to you had COVID, so you might shut all that shit down and go home. We're going to wipe all that off for you later. All you do is just say, fuck! I mean, it depends. If you got a job that pays you for uh for, for staying home for COVID, that'll, that'll be dope. But yeah, but if they not, you know, cashing in them chips for that, that's raps. So, I saw it. And I know you also saw it. So, feel free to explain what's going on with Brother, brother Fetty Wap. Yo, uh, oh, damn, I, 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 had a, I had an eye joke, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it. Uh, old Fetty got hit up at a uh, Rolling Loud in New York. I believe so. Yeah, and they caught him with. I, I, I didn't even pull up to see what they what they caught him with, but they caught him with. Oh, they they <laughs> cocaine, fentanyl. Uh, they a, caught him with with the fleet. These a bunch of shit. Let's see. Let's get this pulled up. So Fetty Wap is arrested on federal drug, drug charges at City Field in Long Island, New York. And uh, it looks like they're saying he dist- it said that they distributed. No, no so, that's, so that's not what happened. He was he didn't get caught with it there. Is He was running a whole ass ring. And they said that uh, he distributed more than 100 kilograms of cocaine, heroin, fentanyl, and crack across Long Island and New Jersey for over a year. And this all began in June 2019. So he's he's been like when he said you're gonna be this the trap queen. Is, this been going, yeah. When he said you're gonna be the trap queen, he meant that. Who'd have thought he meant that shit? But you know what? He got problems. Oh yeah, and he has nine kids. But but oh, shit. And it was the FBI that arrested Fetty Wap. By the way, this ain't got issues. Then you saw the judge is talking about life. Well, that's one of the options it found guilty. Of course, a but, life but, or a damn sentence. Call me crazy. It, based on the times we're in right now, Father, what's what's making news? Selling and distribution of cocaine is never a you know a, a light sentence. But I think because of the fentanyl is what they are really like. No, it was it was it was a hundred keys. <laughs> well, you cocaine is cocaine. I get it. Right. But, I was just like, but 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 think about it. But but fentanyl, the actual drug of fentanyl, has been taking motherfuckers out like you know about the dozens at this yeah, point, right? So when you can think of all the things that you were flipping, that you probably had a shot of, of maybe of not so much walking away from this, but more so like this come out coming out with a a better deal. But fentanyl has taken out, as far as we know, Michael K. Williams. DMX, uh, and I'm only just speculating. I can't, I can't, I can't actually say that. But Mac Miller, we knew, we know for a fact it took out Mac Miller. So it's like it's take well, cocaine is taking out people. Heroin, True, heroin is taking out people. Listen, he had the reason he's looking at life is because he had 100 kilos of all of this shit: <laughs> oh, cocaine, yeah. fentanyl, heroin. He's he on 20 Montana for real. Cigarettes, fucking. <laughs> Brown mouthwash. He had everything. <laughs> they caught they caught him with twenty boxes of Newports. Straight up. <laughs> Are you selling these? Maybe. <laughs> What's the ticket? <laughs> it depends. Talk to me over here. You talking loud? Whole time, Trap Queen was a real thing. I think they said he had weapons on him. Um, so, so at least they had. You know, they were also dealing weapons. Like it, I don't know, man. Life sentence seemed about right. <laughs> Fetty Fetty Wap about to have a real hard time going forward. So we are gonna see what happens. We're going to yeah. see what happens. I mean, so, I mean, over under. <laughs> What's uh, the percentage to you? He'll, uh, over over under 75%, he'll he'll get off. Here, mm, you think, you think, you think he has a 75% chance of getting off? Oh, 50 50. Here's the thing <laughs> I, I will respectfully give it a 50 50 shot, only because for some reason, some celebrities be fine and just. What? How'd you get out of that situation? But then some of them end up found guilty. Um, Fetty Wap strikes me as a person as the richest person in his circle. So all that shit is his. Right. <laughs> all of that shit is his. He's the so. breadwinner of that whole situation, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It's, as, far it's, as, we, as far as we know, it's a it's a scary time for for the young Wap. Uh, for <laughs> which was his Wap name? 
Fetty. I know it's Fetty Wap. <laughs> like Fetty. But I'm not, I feel like he had a uh, stolen uh, Jeezy Goo Wap type. Uh, yeah, I think he went by Goo Wap or something. But there was he a, definitely didn't go by Goo Wap. Nah, but like no, a Goo Wap. Some type of a Goo Wap pronunciation that sounded a lot like Jeezy. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot like Gucci. Well, anyway, he he has he has some some hard times at him. So I wish he's gonna be jail wop soon. So I mean, and that, and that goes both ways. It's crazy. Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jay Z and LL Cool J went into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Big shout out to to Hove. Huge shout out to LL Cool J. Call me crazy. I always thought I thought LL's been in there for some time. Why? <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like. Like, like, I've been paying that much attention. No, to Rock because Roll. because uh, I, he's been nominated like what, like ten times. I, yeah, he's been nominated a bunch, of but times. never actually got in. So I thought like once I'm like I, I, I thought Ellis been in. No, been remember, in. remember this was the class that couldn't go in. Oh no, no, this is the twenty. I'm, I'm sitting there tripping. They still did the twenty twenty class. I did that earlier this year. But yeah, this this was uh yeah, this is actual time getting in. Uh, Jay Z, thank. Dame, he said, uh, yeah, he addressed yeah. that. You know, even why do black people do that? <laughs> hey, even though we don't see eye to eye, all this stuff, like, we well, nigga, just thank him, <laughs> just leave it at that. But disclaimer, if we don't see eye to real eye, real quick, just even though we still ain't friends, we ain't gonna be friends. Bring up shit from way back, even though we what? fought back in 2007, and and you know, a whole nigga, and I was like, yo, I you know, you almost a whole nigga, you, you know, who won, but anyway, regardless of that fight. Thank you. <laughs> no, nah, but he uh, he thanked him for and uh, said that you know obviously the empire that they built was next level and they created something magic and that was that that was, that was real of Jay because and I think when Jay Z was announced that he was going to be uh, that he was one of the um, possibilities for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I remember having a conversation with Kevin. It was like, does he thank Jay? Does that does he thank Dame? Like, absolutely. No, and then look, you know, even though it was via Twitter, but he thanked Jazzo as well. And I don't think him and Jazzo have an issue anymore. No, no, no not anymore, bro. Not Jazzo's signed to Rock Nation now. So, but for what though? I never want to <laughs> see, see now you out here making shit. No, but uh, who got that new Jazzo? No, hey, has anybody hit you like, hey, bro, you gotta check out this new Jazzo shit slump, bro? I, I, I'm sorry, who? <laughs> hey, I believe you. <laughs> Just walk off. <laughs> But no, but uh, but uh, but Jay said he forgot to thank Jazzo during the uh, uh, inducting ceremony, so he did it on Twitter. And I thought I thought, I thought that was a real class move. The fact that, uh, I mean, far as we know, you know, everybody's you know, the, everybody's putting down their weapons and they're going their own separate ways. But you know, how do we how, how do we not know that that Jay Jay really does feel like no no fuck them niggas? But well, me, I'm, I'm pretty sure he really does feel that way about Dame. Still, that's why it was imperative. I know we don't see eye to eye, and then got to all the good stuff. Right, right. So he right. definitely still feels that way about Dame, but I respect that you know you can put you can show some signs of humility and you can show you know some like legit decorum like and speak facts. There is no Jay Z without Dame Dash. No. Jay Z would have never gotten that without Dame Dash. No, you're right. And there would be no Dame Dash without Jay Z. Nigga had a roster on him, but somebody had to quarterback that shit. Right, right. So definitely big ups to them. And shout out to LL Kuja, man. I, I honestly thought that LL's been in the Hall of Fame for some time. He's probably been one of the most deserving in hip hop to to do it because he came from that era. He came, you know, he was he was alongside the KRSs and the Big Daddy Kane and Run DMC. Now, now LL performed as well, right? Him and um, I didn't see it because personally, <laughs> I didn't want to. I don't want to see an LL Cool J uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame performance. However. He probably looking back at me like nigga, you would never see Ella Who's here rocking because you weren't there. You, respect. We we see eye to eye with it. I just personally didn't want to see it. So somebody gave me free tickets to then Ella, Ella's next tour. All the jams, nothing new. All jams. You want to go? Free tickets. Free tickets. Front row seats. Ah, uh, nah, I'm not doing front row. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in the balcony. I don't want that issue. Just <laughs> LL, just no shirt and sweats. <laughs> just all right, bet. Like, bro, let me. Seventeen let me seats, seventeen rows back, but still floors be like seventeen rows back. Oh, I'm cool. I I do like balcony. I don't need to be that close. You to LL. on the floor? Nah. Listen, not for free. Bad. Not for phenomenal. You know what I'm saying exactly because when you say you go do all the shit, you got to remember he got some shit back in that time and. Not sure if I want to see right now LL perform. He'll probably have all the energy, all the energy in the world. Imagine that, no? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Free tickets? 
balcony. The drinks. <laughs> These are important <laughs> questions. Do we get drinks? But are y'all, wait, are y'all, are y'all feeding us? No, like, we, we, we get, we get a, bit, a bit with this too? And we get to meet LL? I would go. Free tickets, I would go. Where? This definitely couldn't be floor seats. Not even 10 seats back. Nah. Because <laughs> nah. at that point, it's almost like, what's the point? Because now niggas is just in your way. Balcony, I got a cool little slope. You know, oh, LL Cool J's right there. Cool. You know what I'm saying? We're good. I'm one of the first niggas out. Okay, you, 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 you're not saying for the old show. No, no, nah, no, no, no. I, I probably li- I probably leave about LL, third the last song. LL strikes me as a guy that does. Uh, what's the record he did with Jennifer Lopez? Uh, I actually had him in my Jermaine Dupri. All I, I, I have? I, no, 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 not that one. I can see that being one, but not that one. Fast, fast forward, forward, fast forward. LL Cool J, Jennifer Lopez, and Jermaine Dupri. Control myself. Yes. Ooh. I can see LL closer with that. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> no, nah, <laughs> no. Nah. For some reason, LL feel like, I think LL knows that his, the album that has a, as, what's the name of that Accidental Racist on it, wasn't well received. So you therefore, I, I think just to be petty and, and, and troll us. Let me tell a story about, I don't think I call. Oh, no. Accidental Racist. Nah, you calls with accidental races. Accidental, oh fuck this! Accidental bro. races is a middle of the show thing. He's doing that because we're all together as one, and we've made it this far in the show. I'm still trying to figure out how you how you. I look in this races. crowd. It's a lot of black people. It's a lot of white people. You know what I'm saying? And then, of course, just being a, a, a nigga from Queens, it's a lot of Chinese people, but they're Japanese or Korean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's, I like Squid Games too. You know what I mean? Like, ah, bro, you're, you're going far, bro. You're going far. But see, um, but there's a point. I'm being accidentally racist. But that's actually besides the point because all in all, the nigga is more deserving to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Like you said, you thought he was already in there. Run DMC is in there, duly deserved. But LL, and no disrespect to Run DMC, he had a run longer than them. Mm-hmm. You know they. they it, that, that's not taken away from their efforts of try, of trying to have a run after, you know, such a historic career. But LL had a legit fucking run. Like, his fall off didn't necessarily fall off. He kind of ran the gamut. Like, he, he he did. He had the classic records. He went into acting. Um, he's now, you know, hosting. And he's like a full-ass personality. You know what I'm saying? Like, LL is here. You know what I'm saying? And. Very much so deserved. And now they're talking about LL is the perfect matchup for Busta. So who knows what's about to fucking happen? And you know, I Busta's for a, one just don't want to see it. Busta's an old head nigga, so he's gonna take it. He's gonna. Well, take I mean, it. Uh, you know, bro, LL dropped what five years before Busta? Ten years before Busta? I'm about to say definitely a good amount. LL was starting Def Jam. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like I still feel like the best Busta matchup is missing. I, I see no one else to go against Busted but Miss. Absolutely. And it has to be a full blown event. Oh, it's shit again. Everybody cardio gotta be straight up because it's about to be nothing but the joint. Full blown, blown, like bro, this is a this that that should be a versus Busted versus Missy, aka spin cardio class or something. There's gonna you be a uh, Peloton. It's gonna be a Peloton class. Pel- that, that's for sure Peloton class. It's be a Peloton for sure. class for sure. Absolutely. Um Dance Fit with Bust and Missy. But definitely big up to LL Cool J and Jay-Z uh, getting to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, man. Big deal. Very well deserved. Very, very they need, well. They need to hurry up and, and turn the birthplace of hip-hop into a uh, hip-hop Hall of Fame. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Finally, I kind of want to talk about Ice Cube walking away from $9 because he didn't want to get vaccinated. This this is a... Uh, uh, this story is wild because, I mean, I feel you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling you, I'm dog. I'm feeling you, dog. I mean, but I mean, maybe I, I'm just not. I'm. I'm. I've never been in a position where I could just walk away from nine million. But I feel you, dog. Let me tell you something right now. If in the current position we are right now, if motherfuckers walked away from nine million, it'd be super anti vaxxers Look at you, like I don't know. I mean, I took that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So no one expects that. But he, Ice Cube, has that. He has to walk away. He has to make his point. Right. And so what now as far as our community is concerned, as Kyrie and, and Cube now, 
Well, well, okay, so let's, let, let's give some context. Uh, Cube was uh, signed on to do a movie with Jack Black, uh, who's I, I, I want to say is a producer on this movie. It's a comedy with Sony, and the movie's called Oh Hell No, which is a horrible title, whatever this was even supposed to be about. But uh, Cube was the lead with Jack Black, and he was top billing. Guaranteed $9 million, and I think on maybe a day before they actually began the shoot, Sony hit him with a, uh, you know, you got to be vaccinated to, to film. And they didn't tell him that shit prior to. But I would assume they, they told you that before he even signed the contract. But apparently it was like not too far before. I'd assume his, it was in the contract. I, I, yeah, you would assume it's, it's in the contract. But, Man, this is a bad time to find out Ice Cube ain't reading contracts. No you know what I'm saying? But but well, apparently. It's time for an assistant to get fired. From what I read, and it, and it could be false, uh, it was it was one too far from start date to start to begin production. He was like, if you got to be vaccinated, I'm not doing it. Which is also very weird because Ice Cube has been a, you know, a real advocate for, yo, wear your fucking mask, bro. Yo, social distancing, bro. Yo, wash your hands, bro. Like, he's, yo, COVID's out here. And he's been been a, a guy to be like, yo, watch yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know? <laughs> but he's he's still ice. But he but he's very much still ice. And, and, and listen, it's about choice. So so as long as you as long as people can respect the fact that it was his choice not to get vaccinated to do this movie, it's also Sony's choice to be like, well, listen, you, either you be vaccinated or you do the movie or don't. Pretty much. So nobody's really at fault. It's just it's a choice thing. He chose not to. So I said, cool. We chose because because because. Playing the devil's advocate with the, with the situation is like, if I was, I'm not gonna say that, but on a movie set, if you're working with somebody and you know the rules on this set is you must be fully vaccinated. And then you have, the, then you have your lead star come, in, come, in, you know, come to find out, is not vaccinated. If you're pro that or, or, or if you really are concerned about your well being on the movie set with COVID 19 being a thing, then yeah, I could kind of give it like, nah, if Cube's not doing it, I ain't really doing it. Makes sense. I'm. Uh, what's the best way for me to say this? I personally don't care <laughs> if he doesn't want to be vaccinated. He doesn't need to be vaccinated. If they don't want unvaccinated people on the set, they want unvaccinated people on the set. You hit the nail on the head earlier. At the end of the day, that, that's their choices. You know what I'm saying? Cube got it to walk away. Cube's not hurting from not getting another nine men. Cube got a lot of good shit going on. You know what I mean? Now. <clears throat> as far as as far as productions in the future requiring vaccinations because Cube is Cube, I can see Cube retiring from movies and just really putting his one hundred and ten percent into the big three. Yeah, or creating another venture because I, yeah. I I don't know how long the big three will last. But um, how long has the big three even been around? I think it's his third year. Really, third or fourth year? Could be more than it that. Feels like it's longer than that. I was about to say it could definitely be more than that. I feel like I'm super undershooting it. And then we go to the Googles to make sure. Oh, found in, in uh, 2017. So this is their fourth year. Wow. But but they didn't have a – did they have a game in 2017? Yo, it was found in 2017. What, what was it the was first it was, game? Oh, no, it's also 2017. So you yeah, have four years. Hmm. Good fool me. Well, it didn't get knocked because the way these years be flying by, like, time – what what is time? Oh, it's not, it's not a thing. It's not a factor anymore. <laughs> so <clears> – <throat> But I do want to pose a question to the ear hustlers. Wherever y'all are listening at, let us know. More than likely it's gonna be the YouTube page. But you know, y'all can drop something in the uh, you know, tag beat or whatever, whatever you want to do. Or at, at the noise podcast. Are y'all giving up nine million for uh to remain unvaccinated? Or are you gonna get that shot and you're gonna get the bag? Which one are you doing? Because I don't think Cube gonna get vaccinated. <laughs> I feel I can really see Cube retiring. I respect it. No, man, listen, man, just like Kyrie, man, listen, man, it's your choice. As long as you got a choice, can I tell you what you can and can't do? Now, just, 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 just be very mindful of said choice because, you know, once you've made that choice and that thingy that you wanted to do that you can't do because you made the choice you made, well, that's kind of on you there, pal. Yeah, your choice is chosen. Your choice is chosen. 
But yeah, you, you can go ahead and let the people know where uh, you can find them at. You can find me on all the social medias at official J Alonzo. Yeah. At uh, Big Los IG on IG. Uh, you can also follow at The Noise Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the, the socials, if you will. Uh, follow everything B Network at BNetworkOnline.com. As always, we appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, we appreciate the support. As always, it's Big Los. Jan Lonzo, what Shout up? Shout out to Hollywood Cav. We the noise. Peace. Peace.